Welcome to Mastermind Gameplay, where nothing is more deadly than a trained AI group. Today, I'm going to show you what kind of damage we can do with just a few AI drones standing behind me. I'm just going to jump in this modified Tiger Shark, and we're going to lead the way over to a Mayday. A Mayday is an abandoned ship that had issues and was partially destroyed like this. It's not usually a threat, but we're going to use it as practice nonetheless. As I get closer to it, you can see that there are Gatling guns firing off from my drones. We are still quite a ways away from it though. I'd say about 1400. As we get closer to the action, it'll be more evident of what's going on. Bits and pieces are flying around us already. And the Gatling gun on top of this Tiger Shark is going at it at the same time. I'm also utilizing the assault cannons on the front. It does a lot more damage and is a lot faster. We just have to watch out for our micro drones to make sure we're not shooting at them. The micro drones have been set up in an offensive stance to attack anything within 500 meters of them. So you can see them kind of swarming around. I only have three of them right now. Unfortunately, I lost my third one that I had produced earlier. But they definitely do wreak havoc, and all they're using are Gatling guns. The range and accuracy of the assault weapons is fairly decent. Unfortunately, you cannot put an artillery system on a small grid ship. But these seem to do the job either way. I left my coordinates up because that way you can see as the micro drones are hovering around. For the most part, they will stay by the Tiger Shark. They will follow me as a character, but they're still going to swarm the enemy. Currently I have him set at offensive default, which means as long as there's any type of power or any block that is still usable by the enemy, they'll continue to attack. They're kind of like mini bees, I'd say. They slowly just sting the heck out of the enemy until they can no longer utilize any of their equipment. At the same time, it allows me to take out some of the bigger objects. If, say, they had their own drones, they would keep those drones busy for a short while while I took out the enemy base. You can really do it in any fashion that you would like, but this is more of a micro shock and all. Mind you, this is just my scouting tutorial. This is not a large ship, and I do not have large drones attacking right now. But it is possible to make a larger scale. For the most part, we have made a quick mess of this mayday. Taking out pretty much everything around it. I'm going to go inspect the damage personally. Just got to watch out for these Gatling fires. I don't think the micro AI drones that I created will actually hit me or not with the Gatling. Their collision is set to on, so they shouldn't be shooting or hitting me either way. That's an interesting view. See if there's any goodies in here. Oh, canvas bag, Gatling, and a level three grinder. Nothing in here. Nothing in here. It's kind of fun raiding these maydays. There's not much competition, and you usually find one or two goodies along the way. Plus, you could scavenge the entire thing using a large grinder apparatus and collect all the steel you want. Anything in here? Looks like somebody has a kitchen set up. Not much else going on with it. 
Yeah, it's pretty empty. Oh, I like one of these tables. It's a hologram table. Let's see if there's anything else. I don't think so. I gotta remember to shut off these AI drones because if you don't shut them off they'll continuously shoot like I said until there's absolutely no blocks left of the enemy. We don't necessarily want to waste all their ammo so I'm just gonna go ahead and turn these off. Go to offensive, toggle block off on each one and then they should essentially regroup around me. You can see that it's flying back towards me. It's 400 meters, 300 meters. Oh, look at this guy. Looks like we got a hitchhiker. Somehow he got stuck to the bottom of my ship. I think it's just where I destroyed the other ship and then accidentally ran him over. Well, I guess even in space you gotta watch for pedestrians. As always, thanks for watching, and I hope you appreciated the video. Please leave your tips and tricks in the comments section, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I appreciate it.